Want to know how to break obsidian in the blink of an eye? Or how to walk through walls? Here's 29 ways to break into your friend's Minecraft base. Stuck up on boats so you can cross any body of lava, including lava columns. If you put a boat into the lava, you have a split second to jump off it before it breaks. Leap forward and put another boat down to continue across the lava until finally you reach your friend's base. Did you know you can actually do a super jump with just a flint and steel? Set fire to a block and jump into the fire. Jump again as you take damage and the impact will propel you a little higher. Letting you jump two and sometimes three blocks high. No fence can stand in your way. Disguise yourself in deceptive Minecraft skins. Some of these are banned in many servers, but if you dress to look like the blocks the base is made of, you can blend in and sneak in behind your friends as they walk through the front door. Spawn a wither to help you break in. The wither's attacks can destroy almost any block in Minecraft. So lure it to your friend's base and watch it make massive holes even in obsidian walls. Jump in and take their stuff. Use their XP farms against them. If it looks like this and the bottom of the farm will often end up inside their base because it's more convenient for them. Climb into the top of the XP farm. It'll be funneled down to the bottom and you can break out into the heart of their base. This pig can walk through walls. If you ride a pig up to the wall of the base and then get off it, you can hit the pig and the brief damage reaction will nudge the pig a tiny bit into the wall. Quickly ride the pig and it will continue going forward, letting you ride right through the wall. Don't worry about punching your pig either. Just means free bacon in your friend's house. What if the base is hidden or has a secret entrance you just can't figure out? If you know the general area the base is, just eat a chorus fruit. It can teleport you to some crazy places, including through solid walls, ignoring the secret entrance completely. In snowy areas, some bases will have secret entrances covered with powdered snow. Wait until night, and if you see some snow on a mountain that's slightly brighter than the rest, that's light coming through from the inside. Get an elytra and fly straight into that snow. You'll pass right through into the base. If your friend is a locked door, make your own redstone mechanism to open it. Nothing is stopping you from bypassing whatever complex system and they made inside the walls by just placing down and activating a redstone block against the door. If your friend's base has its own private nether portal, then use that as a way in. Find the coordinates of the connected portal in the nether by taking the overworld coordinates of the base and dividing the X and the Z by 8. That's where the portal in the nether will be, giving you a back door into the protected fortress. If the building you're breaking into is full of death traps, just stock up on totems of undying. It's way easier than trying to avoid everything. Just take the hit and keep on moving. Players will often have secret tunnels that lead far away to their stash. If you x-ray by crawling and pressing a slab into your face with a piston, you can seek out small separate rooms filled with blocks. Dig toward those because they're less likely to be well defended and will have a corridor straight into the base. A server owner can use creative to build a house out of bedrock. Break through with the latest bedrock cracking machine. Using a piston, a trapdoor, some TNT, obsidian, and a lever, you can glitch the game to destroying the bedrock and letting you in. They say the safest base is a hidden one. So how do you break in if you can't even find it? Look for the FPS drop. If you turn on the FPS counter using the settings on your PC or FN plus F3 on a Mac, you can see how fast your game is running. If you're out in the wilderness, the FPS should be high. But if there's a bunch of entities nearby like chess, players, or armor stands, the FPS will take a slight dip. That means the base is nearby. Start digging! This insane block placement glitch lets you climb invisible ghost blocks. If you swap a block into your offhand and place it at the same time, it will exist in the world but be invisible. You can climb walls without a trace. But even better, if you use slime blocks, it will launch you into the air, letting you scale tall towers at high speed. These walls are too thick. Better use a TNT cannon. Make an obsidian rectangle that's seven blocks long with an open end toward the wall. Add a block up on the left side here. Put a water block at the back and a slab at the front. Set TNT on the slab and up to, but not including the water block. Then put two levers with redstone. One is for the TNT on the ground, the other for the slab TNT. Activate the first and watch them flow. Then before they explode, activate the other. It launches forward and smashes the base. Reload with TNT and do it again until you breach the walls. You can ignite TNT from miles away with this glitch. If you attach a fishing rod to something and walk into the nether, the game will glitch and your fishing rod will have infinite range. Use it to set off TNT next to the enemy base from as far away as you can and they'll never know it was you. If you run over and pretend to help, you can get into the base and take what you like. This base is covered in lava. Clear it with sand and scaffolding. Make a square of sand with a block square of sand in the corner. Each block will sink down and delete the lava in that space. Fill up to the surface so you can walk on it, then delete the top block of that one extra sand in the corner. Replace it with scaffolding and right click on it to fill the rest of the lava. The scaffolding doesn't burn and deletes the lava. Take the sand block down and repeat the process until the base is revealed. If the base is in the air and you don't have elytra, make a man cannon instead. Put some obsidian around a ton of TNT and minecarts. If you have blast protection, a shield and stand on a higher level than the TNT, you can 
can survive and still get launched way into the air. Hit yourself with punch arrows and you can get real distance onto that floating building. A secret base can be hidden underwater and it can be very hard to see. The easiest way to find it is to get in a boat and do this weird vision trick. When in the boat on the water, if you go into third person view, you can angle the camera to just about touch the water surface. The vision will glitch and show you everything under the water without that underwater filter, making any odd structure or entity easy to find. Watch out for pitfall traps. If the floor disappears under you and the trap is revealed, do this crazy flying glitch. To do it, have the game in windowed mode. And when the floor falls away, right click on the window bar at the top. You'll freeze in the air. You'll need a fellow home invader with you to put a block under you. So when you click on the game to unfreeze, you'll land safe and sound. Trap avoided. If the floor of your friend's base is only slab, then dig a tunnel under the ground of the building. Put a single water source block to have a little water flow through. If you ride a boat in that one block space, the water will bob you up through the floor and even let you interact with objects inside, like the button to open the door. Boats are amazing and can be used to break into buildings in a lot of ways. Put one on the roof and you can phase through by jumping in and out of the boat with perfect timing. Your friend might put an elder guardian near their base, giving you mining fatigue, making it way harder to break blocks to get in. That's why you should always bring buckets of milk. But if you don't have that, set up a bed spawn nearby and kill yourself! Mining fatigue is a five minute cooldown, so you'll have plenty of time to break in and loot the place before it can hit you with it again. Uh oh, shulker sensors have been placed all over this minefield. One noise and it all goes up! You could sneak by, but you can easily get caught. So you've got to move fast. The answer is to jump and sneak. If you constantly jump the entire way and press the sneak button, just as you hit the ground each time, you can go fast and stay quiet enough for the sensors not to notice you. This next trick will let you fly up to high buildings without TNT or Elytra. The trick is to get your own pet shulker. You need to catch them in a boat or minecart that leads to the end gate out of the end city and eventually through the main end portal into the overworld. Throw them away in a boat toward the target base and let yourself get cursed with levitation. You'll fly up into the sky and with a good enough levitation, it won't matter how high the base is. Use subterfuge. If your friend is in need of a certain mob, like a particular villager or perhaps the ultra rare brown panda, get one for yourself and offer to bring it to their base. You can lead it over and you'll get access to the base as you bring the creature into its new home. Once inside, steal as many items as you can. It's fair payment for such a rare panda. An endangered species, you know. Fencing has been used to cover this entire opening. There's no way in without breaking it. Unless you get a trap door. The crawl mechanic actually changes your hitbox. And with a fence like this, if you set up a trap door right next to it and make yourself crawl, you'll be halfway through the fence already. Just keep moving through and you'll slide right in without breaking a single block. And finally, there's no point getting in if you get caught. So try this teleporting escape plan. If you make a bubble column with an open trap door and a redstone torch at the top, you can throw an ender pearl in. And when the torch is activated, the door will close. You'll be teleported to the pearl. Attach a clock mechanism like this and you can give yourself enough time to break in, do your dirty deeds, and disappear even if you get caught. Now subscribe quick before time runs out! Hurry! Hurry! Hurry!